Hi, my name is Raval and today we're going to be discussing using Git flow in source tree. So, to fully comprehend this tutorial, please watch the first video in the series, What is Git flow a solid foundation? You should see the link to this video in the description below or you should see an annotation on screen. Okay, setup. First we need a Git repository. Then we would initialize git flow on this repository using the git flow icon in source tree. We will then name our branches and our prefixes and we will then have a master and develop branch. So let's do this. So in Sublime you can see that I have a simple index.html file. We can view that in the browser and great it's just implementing git flow with source tree. Okay. So let's go to source tree. So we have source tree up. Click on clone new. Click create a new repository. Let's select our folder. Click create. Okay, so source tree wants us to do our initial commit. First commit. Click on commit. So we have our master branch with our first commit. So let's initialize git flow on this repository. In the top here, in this row of icons, you should be able to see the git flow icon. If you cannot see the git flow icon, you would be, should be able to customize your toolbar here. Unfortunately, I can't do this in this source tree video, but a quick Google should bring up exactly how you should do that. So let's click on git flow. And what happens here, it's giving us the option to name our branches and, pre and our also our prefixes, I suggest to keep it exactly as the default settings. Click on OK. So it's still setting up. Great. So now we have a master and develop branch set up. They both share the same files. And you can see that develop is checked out. And just to prove it to you, let's refresh the page. Great. We have implementing GitLow flow with source tree. Cool. So that's the setup. So let's create our first feature branch. First, you need to make sure you're on the develop branch. Click on the git flow icon. Click start new feature. Then name your feature branch. And then we can continue work on our feature branch. So let's go to source tree. In the top, let's click on the git flow icon once again. Click start new feature. And I'm going to name the feature add home page content. Okay. Good. So we have our feature branch here and our feature branch folder. And we have add home page content. Good. So we have it here as well. So let's make some changes. After our Jumbotron, let's say we want to add a container with a row. And we will have a column. Let's say, let's just make it 12 for now h2 you can say um, about git flow and let's just insert some dummy content here great good so we have about git flow let's go back to source tree commit add about content and stay or stage our files click commit and great so we've made our first commit to our feature branch so let's say we have now finished our feature branch and we need to close it what we need to do is click on the git flow icon once again click on finish feature um, on the real world in the real world just remember that you will have to pull develop because what happens when you click on git flow and select finish feature is that remember you are merging your feature branch into develop. So you want to make sure that develop is up to date with your remote branches. And what could ha possibly happen here as well is that merge conflicts could arise. So this is most the most likely case in the real world. So just remember that you would have to pull and then resolve any conflicts. Okay, so source tree. Click on the git flow icon, finish feature. 
great. So I'm going to have delete branch selected because in my GIF flow, I'm deleting the branch once I'm done. Click OK. So you can see our feature has now disappeared in our branches uh, section here. And develop, we only have develop and master. So to double check, yep, our change is still there. Great. Right, so let's say now that we've done numerous features and we are ready to release. So what we'd have to do is create a release branch. And to do that, all we have to do is once again, click on the Git flow icon, click start new release, and then commit any changes if necessary. So let's take a look. Back to source tree. Let's click on Git flow, start new release, and we're going to call the release version 1.0.0 add the extra zero there okay click OK great so just like our feature branch we have a folder for release and we have our release branch just here okay so let's take a look implementing git flow with source tree and about git flow let's say um, I forgot to add a paragraph let's just add a paragraph Great. Back to the browser. Okay, good. So our release branch looks good. Let's make our commit change. Our commits. Commits. Updated copy. Click on commit. Great. So now we are happy. So once we have a release branch, once we've tested it and we're happy, we make sure that you know this is what the code we want to release we need to finish our release branch. And once again, we are going to click on the Git flow icon. Then we're going to click on finish release. Um, we don't necessarily have to tag your release with a message, but it's optional. Then you can finish the release branch. It'll merge into master as well as develop. Okay, so let's go back to source tree. We have our release branch and let's click on the Git flow icon once again click finish release we're not going to tag with a message you can see here it already has version 1.00 that is fine for me let's click OK good so you can see that we have our master branch here that it's already it has our tag with v100 we have our develop branch here and things are looking great if we go back to our browser we hit refresh that's good and go back to source tree we'll check out master okay good let's go back to our browser and good master has all our changes so if you're happy with that you can go ahead and release that fixes so to do a hotfix as simple as you get, click on the Git flow icon once again. Click Start New Hotfix. We will then make our changes on this new Hotfix branch. Once we are done, we'll click on the Git flow icon. We'll click Finish Hotfix. And that'll be that. So let's do it. We'll go to Source Tree. Click on Git flow. Click Start New Hotfix. And let's name it Update Copy. Click on OK. We will then now have a hotfix folder with our hotfix branch. Let's make our hotfix. Let's change this to about Raval Governor. That could be our hotfix. Go to source tree. Click on commit. Um, let's say update copy. And we'll commit that. Great, so now we have hotfix update with our update copy with our updated copy. And now we're done. Click on Git flow, finish hotfix, and we'll click OK. Great, so you'll see it's disappeared from here. We'll check out, it develops already checked out. Great, we have our changes. Let's check out master on source tree. Good, we checked out master. Hit refresh. 
And good, it has an updated copy. Okay, so that's it guys. Here's some links. We have what is Giflow, a solid foundation. That's the video I spoke about in the beginning. And as well as the Atlassian blog. So um, they describe exactly how to do um, or how to work with Giflow in Sorcery. They built it. Take a look at it. It's very, very good. So guys, thanks for watching. I hope you learned a lot. Please feel comfortable to ask any questions below. And please like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.